there's always a tendency for groups to camp with the you know, area they came from. And uh, LC Defender in those days, you camped with persona groupings, mm -hmm. you know, which is what most at of least, that was, was. At least that, that wasn't true of all the LC Defender. Persona play not. between the different camps. Was Cameron really making roads? Oh, that's sort of. I, mean, do. I know it's you know. <laughs> Such as you could, yes, he was making roads. He was marking roads because we rearranged his road signs. <laughs> so when you were putting that away, there was another page that was facing the camera that it was a petition to Patrick oh. Michael? Did I see that right? That was when, when Jan stepped down as baron then his order which was the order of the ursa majoris petitioned the crown to officially close that order oh. and this, so this was the petition from the order of the ursa majoris to patrick michael and julia to officially close the order of the ursa majoris of bjornsburg prior to the official date of jan stepping down because we felt that we were jan's order and we wanted whoever stepped up to have their own order. That totally belongs on the Bjornsborg wiki page. It does. <laughs> and so this is all the people who's the, all the members of the Ursa Majoris who signed it on there. If you were willing to scan that to me, that would be super awesome. When yeah. uh, Jan stepped down, the barony was mad because the first baron had been a guy named I can't say his whole name. I really actually can't say it. Um, Gray Raven. Erasmus Waskinieski, something like that, right? Yes, she can't either. So It's um, pronounced Gray Raven. <laughs> <laughs> Gray Raven. I only ever met him once. So. Gray Raven really, really, really built, liked to build his power by leveraging discord. That's the most delicate way I can put it. And he stepped down very shortly, and he was only there for like, Six months, something like that. Well, officially they have him down for a year, but yeah. uh, he actually had three to six months. Of My point here is that Jan isn't technically the founding baron. And it's a convention. I don't know if it's official law or anything, but it's a convention that the founding baron of any branch gets to use. Put it in a canton? canton. And it ticked off the barony that Jan was not allowed to do that because he really was the founding baron in spirit even though he wasn't technically so they put a petition together which i calligraphed and i have a bunch of signatures on and i illuminated it asking the kingdom to give him an augmentation of arms of bjornsborg which the crown did and i can scan that thing to you as well if you'd like to see it Give me all the things. All the things. All of the things. I, I seriously wish that I could go and like tell the whole kingdom and, and have them hear it that if you have submitted an article to a newsletter, submit it to the wiki because it got published once in the newsletter and that's super awesome. But now it's in somebody's closet or it's in a box or it's lost. I have all the stuff that Michael, Michael Parr wrote, but I need to get his sister because he, he's passed away if it was published can you use it i have to or have a have fresh permission a... because it was that was for print publishing and this is online publishing so i have to have a fresh we'll permission for i just need to get get it together but we've got he he was setting out he won a, a black box award for various some articles but he submitted that for the black box awards didn't he i think so he was very proud of it yes so something that other kingdoms do that we don't and I'm I'm putting bugs in hopefully the right ears to move us towards is they have a completely online permission form system where yeah. you can go and you can say I grant permission for photographs of me photographs I took and my content and so when somebody says hey I'd like to publish this article or this picture or this whatever you can just simply say my release number is xyz it's already on file with the kingdom. Yeah. It's fresh and clean, and you don't have to deal with all of the additional layers of keeping track of a piece of paper, which is what I have to do. What does it take to put that in place? Yeah. It, it takes a database. It takes a database. And I've talked to, to John, 
who's the web minister, and he's going to broach the topic to the chronicler um, because this does fall under the auspices of the chronicler. Yeah, there's um, probably a whole lot in those twenty boxes of files that could be just scanned and not even kept. And yeah. and the person who has it is doing a lot of that. And well, that's something. And, and I've got access to some of those and I go through it and like I've been able to pull out documents like, um, for example, Inman wrote a letter to the barony of Namron expressing their, his thanks for them hosting him at an event. And he talked about the tournament that was held and the lovely feast that was presented to he and his queen. And, and so that was part of the historian's records. And I've, I've pulled that image out. I've posted it on the wiki, linked it up to Namron, linked, linked it to, I think I linked it to, to Inman. I might not have, but it's, it's there. And that's the sort of thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take these archival materials that are not confidential, that are just colorful and historical mm -hmm. and get them on the wiki so that other people can see them and enjoy them. But right now our category of documents is like three things, four things at most. It's, it's very little. We have about 400 people pages. Um, we've got about six story pages that are, you know, tales of so-and-so who is past or tales of this group or that kind of thing. Um, but a lot of it is, you know, group pages. Moonshadow's got the majority. If, if I had to, like... You need to scan all that conglomerate what we've got moonshadow has the most because it had four regular wiki contributors posting stuff yeah. well i have a question for you yeah we have and they have scanned a lot of letters of intent for mm -hmm. yeah lines. so they were from people who were entering the tournament mm -hmm. to jan okay i have some from leoness too do we have to get each individual person? They were letters. See, that's the problem with old stuff is you're not necessarily going to be able to, to find these people anymore. Yeah. I have to get the permission of the artist that made it because it is their original work of art and they maintain copyright. Even though it was given to someone else, they maintain copyright. So I have to have the permission of the artist. You could just credit somebody. If that could get me in trouble. No, I mean, I just, the point, in terms of the point of law, I thought you could just credit someone. I don't know. Well, you can send mine because she's got my permission now. Yeah, but I'm just saying, in, in general, I thought crediting somebody was sufficient, and I'm what not I, on copyright law like I used to be. Brianne, what I have for you is specific to the arms that you submitted. I do not have a global permission for you for anything else. Well, how Maybe do I give you provided. a global one? I thought I was giving you a global one. Nope, you ju that the specific... CAPTCHA language says, for this image attached. And our, uh, ours were global, right? You're good for us? I would have I to look we up. Asked how to do that. I think, I think we did that. Actually, I gave somebody in the kingdom permission on something else. So, and I thought it was a global, but maybe it wasn't. That doesn't necessarily mean it got to where it needed to be, i.e. me. Um, well, how, you, do I, how do I do a global one? Where is that located? Wiki.onstayora.org. And on the main page, in the, the main header of it, it says welcome. It'll say, we'd love to have you contribute content. Here's the permission forms. And there's one for content, photographs, and models. There's three different forms. But if somebody sends me a letter, doesn't that make it my property? No, sir. And not the way it works. If I hand you the Mona Lisa, you don't own the copyright. Yeah. That's it's, not the same thing. No, that's no, no, but this, this is exactly what happened with the shirt. We're not talking a work of art. We're talking a communication. No. Some of them are oh, works of art, though. Yeah, exactly. yeah. It's, it's like what she said. It's the t-shirt. She did that art. That was based on her work, and them using it without her consent was improper. I, I gave it to the kingdom. It doesn't mean the rights of the art went to the kingdom. This is what... Yeah. What I, my, my point is, I... My knowledge of intellectual property law dates back about a decade, and we had an intellectual property lawyer on our, uh, it was a Harry Potter discussion group. And I can ping her and ask, just because I'm right, going to, okay. to know just what, what it is, because 
at the time citing it was sufficient, but we weren't putting up art, but I mean, we were putting up writing. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I unfortunately, to. I'm bound by SCA policy rather than, you know. No, I know. I just want to know what the law, law actually is. Yeah. How to do that. Yeah. But I wanted to make, to make sure to read that for you so you could see what it was. I got Ivar to re review it. He added some names for me and I wanted Bryony and Connell to hear it because they were there. Bryony cooked Wonderful. the food that event. Did you say she yeah. cooked a feast? She cooked the feast yeah. for that hunt. And it was quite a spread for three bucks. Damn. That's impressive. I One told of the Ivar, um, Connell, I told Ivar that she found that page and what the feast price was. And he said, what was the site fee? Damn. I don't see a site fee listed. Did you have one? Or was it I don't even trip? know. Let's see. Yeah. Was there a site fee? We had to have a site yeah, fee. Water, but it wasn't listed. Oh, Jan, I don't know if you saw, but I added that um, piece of woodworking to your page. The candelabra. I think it was a candelabra. The, the lion. The, the carved wood lion. That's on your page now. You know what's hilarious is the lady whose uh, name and address is listed on the page for this event 35 years ago. Her address is the same right now. They're still in that home. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, the thing about that lion that was, was more impressive was what That's I speak for. Uh, that performance mm -hmm. was really well done. One of the storytelling prompts was tell me about a an artistic performance or object that that really resonated with you. So that's one of the storytelling prompts if you I if you feel like writing it up. Right now I have to think about it a while. No worries. I'd be happy to send you a link to the the StoryCorps page so that you can see the other topics that have been posted. Oh yeah, the site fee was $3. Total of 6. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. That's pretty pricey. I don't know if we can make We didn't that. charge non-members more in those days. Yeah. yeah. Brandy said a lot more food was donated, too. She said the salmon for the feast was donated. Something else. 